being in Washington today, I'll put a perspective on in terms of the cost of the 9-11 investigation and money spent on other government investigations. The Mueller investigation cost about $25 million. The Whitewater investigation cost about 60 to $70 million. The Space Shuttle Challenger disaster cost about $175 million and seven astronauts killed. The Space Shuttle Columbia disaster cost about $400 million and seven astronauts killed. 9-11 Commission was initially given $3 million and a deadline of 18 months to complete with a final cost of about $15 million and the Commission's conclusion was that it was a failure of imagination that led to 9-11 happening. Imagine that. The worst act of terrorism in the history of our country, which claimed almost 3,000 innocent lives and which dramatically altered the course of our nation and the world, and it had an imposed deadline and of just 18 months, which was extended by two months, and it had an initial budget of just $3 million. Remember what the chairman and vice chairman of the 9-11 Commission said. They were set up to fail and they were starved of funds to do a proper investigation. Who could have imagined that, given the magnitude of such an atrocity? So there are all kinds of reasons. We thought we were set up to fail. We got started late. We had a very short time frame. Indeed, we had to get it extended. Uh, we did not have enough money. They were, they were afraid we were going to hang somebody. I demand to know, as should everyone, especially the media, why important testimony from, made that day from over 150 police, firefighters, and first responders regarding explosions wasn't included in the commission report, nor investigated further. Why did the FBI, why didn't the FBI or NIST examine the wreckage for explosives? Why wasn't Ground Zero considered a crime scene and sealed off and processed accordingly? Why was crucial evidence of melted structural steel suppressed and not even considered, or worse yet, allowed to be carted off and destroyed? And finally, why can't Americans hear about FDNY Battalion Chief Oreo Palmer, who succeeded in making it to the point of impact on the 78th floor of the South Tower with his men and reported that he had two isolated pockets of fire and that we should be able to knock it down with two lines. So he made it up to the fire floor and he saw what was going on. And, and, contradiction and contradicting the, uh, the official storyline that it was a raging fire up there, here's, here's a brave fireman who made it onto the fire floor and was doing his job. One minute after the final transmission, the South Tower collapsed.